You are watching Life on Gabriela TV, community television for you, by you. This is the Gabriola Theater Center, and it was my grandfather's, and he passed away in 2015. He sold the property in 2014, and then my husband and I were very, very fortunate. We were able to purchase the property. We had tenants, but finally, after really two years of hard work, we are able to reopen it and I'm very excited about a dance performance that will be for our grand opening and that I feel is just the beginning of many wonderful things that will come. speaking to different um, musicians and I have been speaking to former students of my grandfather's and uh, and then there's the lovely Dana Ashby and we are collaborating together we'll be bringing um, an amazing dance to Gabriola called Serpentine and that will be coming in I would say February March of 2024 that I had not heard of Dana, though as soon as so I, somebody posted on Facebook, I guess it was in March, days before there was going to be a show that she was presenting, Hello Buffalo. And as soon as I read about her, I thought, oh my goodness, that's an amazing thing coming to Gabriola. And I was like overjoyed. Right away I emailed, got tickets, and I was so excited. And then I reached out to her because I knew that we, at that point, we were doing renovations and I was hoping that they were going to be finished before the summer. Um, and so I'd sent her a message, I have this theater of my grandfather's that we're finishing up. If you ever, ever, ever thought you would like to do something here, please let me know. And she was really, really busy at that time and she just sent me a little flower and I thought, oh, Dana's responding to me. This amazing person has responded. Oh, that's so fantastic. I hadn't even seen her show. When I saw it, I was just completely floored, not only by the performance itself, but by the audience and how engaged they were and how riveted everybody was. It was complete silence. Uh, so not long ago, she reached out to me and said, oh, I'd like to come and see the theater. And I was like, oh, I was just like, no. And Really, as soon as I, I brought her here, and then I said, well, I want to do artisan residence, and I showed her the whole space, and she said, this is perfect for that. And she walked around, and she thought, and she said, I have to think about it. I have to think if I can do a piece that I'm thinking about doing here, and I'll get back to you. I thought that would be it. There would be that the space was too small, that Dana wouldn't figure it out and then she messaged me back, yes, I want to do it. Do you think that we could do it because I've got this artist in residence coming? Do you think we could possibly do it in, in October? And that, that was going to be for our opening. And I was like, yes, I will do everything. I will do, I will do all the grunt work. I will do all the producing things that need to be done because she was going on tour and she wouldn't be able to do any of these things. And so we did everything we could and then the dancers, um, their visa got held. Serpentine will be coming and with the dancer that Dana wants to perform this piece. Serpentine, it's a piece I created when I was 27. 
so already six years ago and it's been touring ever since it was created. Um, the first presentation was a work in progress and it was at the MAI, which is, um, it's uh, in French, it's Montréal Art Interculturel, Montreal Intercultural Arts. And it was presented in their gallery space as a work in progress in Montreal. And that piece toured in, in Paris and then had its world premiere in, in um, Montreal and it was later presented uh, in all kinds of places. We did it in Italy and Germany, um, the United States, New York, um, Canada. It was performed at the Art Gallery of Ontario. So it's one of these pieces that has um, a long life it seems, which is I think something really really beautiful and amazing and for whatever reason, um, it turned out to be a very successful dance piece. I'm confident that there's an audience for Serpentine on Gabriola, and I'm excited about presenting slowly. You know, I don't want to overcharge Gabriola with my own work, but slowly over time presenting a few of my other pieces because I have a repertoire of about eight or nine shows that I've created over the last nine years. I think it's all, um, all about the vision that Jasmine has. Um, she's expressed to me a, a desire to bring dance, a desire to bring high caliber works, a desire to have an artist residency space. So already it sounds like bringing artists of high caliber to present high caliber work on Gabriola, but also having local and emerging artists to develop projects while here on Gabriola, so I think it's going to cover a lot of areas where there's been um, maybe some gaps, maybe something is missing. And I think we'll see how her vision develops, but it's exciting that she is starting this. It's brand new and there's many directions that she could take it. And it's just exciting to see how her vision, how her vision evolves. I am just so pleased because this is something that I have wanted to do for um, my grandfather for so long and, and just being able to live on Gabriola and to be here in this wonderful island that is so creative and full of so many wonderful artists and people to be able to provide this venue again and Gabriel has lost a number of venues over the years um, and then this this venue sat dormant for five full years which is a long time when I was thinking about how, what would be significant to me and to anyone else who came back into the space. It, it, I have, fortunately, all of his of photos of his that he had done over the time of productions he was in, and I, I was fortunate enough to collect and keep all of these things of his. So I really wanted to put him up everywhere. I wanted to bring him home because Really, his first love, his always love, was theater. And every picture on the wall is him in a production. It's not pictures of him, it's pictures of him acting. And my most favorite play, and that he got a Jesse for, was Tuesdays with Maury, which we have the big poster. The most wonderful part of all of this are the people that have come in since we've reopened and they, they tell me stories about him. They, they look at the pictures and they're like, oh, wow, or I remember this play that I saw here. And so there's, there is a real um, genuine love of this space being reopened that I feel like so joyful to know that I could have done that. For the community, I also just want to honor him. So there's that piece. And to be able to have the opportunity to have different artists come here and to present work that the audience can be able to be fully immersed in or have the opportunity for conversations afterwards, like talk back sessions, or, or to have that opportunity to actually witness the connection between the performer and the audience and then that shared experience that happens. I feel that's like 
so essential to what we need now in the world. Our time has changed and COVID has, has changed a lot of things. So I, to know that we can bring something back and bring people together in that way, uh, it just means a lot to me. And I know that that was something that my grandfather always did. He just brought people together.